This is the reading of chapter 10, the introduction in A Course in Miracles called The Idols of Sickness. Number one, the nothing beyond yourself can make you fearful or loving because nothing is beyond you. Time and eternity are both in your mind and will conflict until you perceive time solely as a means to regain eternity. You cannot do this as long as you believe that anything happening to you is caused by factors outside yourself. You must learn that time is solely at your disposal and that nothing in the world can take this responsibility from you. You can violate God's laws in your imagination, but you cannot escape from them. They were established for your protection and are as involatile as your safety. God created nothing beside you and nothing beside you exists for you are part of him. What except him can exist? Nothing beyond him can happen because nothing except him is real. Your creations add to him as you do, but nothing is added that is different because everything has always been. What can upset you except the ephemeral and how can the ephemeral be real if you are God's only creation and he created you eternal? Your holy mind establishes everything that happens to you. Every response you make to everything you perceive is up to you because your mind determines your perception of it. God does not change his mind about you, for he is not uncertain of himself. And what he knows can be known because he does not know it only for himself. He created you for himself, but he gave you the power to create for yourself so you would be like him. That is why your mind is holy. Can anything exceed the love of God? Can anything then exceed your will? Nothing can reach you from beyond it because being in God, you encompass everything. Believe this and you will realize how much it is up to you. When anything threatens your peace of mind, ask yourself, when anything threatens your peace of mind, ask yourself this, has God changed his mind about me? Then accept his decision, for it is indeed changeless, and refuse to change your mind about yourself. God will never decide against you, or he would be deciding against himself. That is the end of the introduction of chapter 10 in the reading of A Course in Miracles.